All right, here we go. Talking about ways to improve progesterone naturally. Now, a lot of times people will just dive into this and say, oh my gosh, to improve your progesterone, you actually have to target estrogen. This and this and this for hormones, this and this, and it's actually focused on estrogen. What I'm gonna talk about for today is specifically focused on progesterone. Not about estrogen at all. That is a whole other ball of wax to deal with. This is just to help improve progesterone. Does this mean boosting progesterone? Sometimes. Does this mean leveling out, moderating, helping your body process progesterone better? Yes. Yes. Hands down, yes. And is this something that we do when we get a look at your Dutch test, hormone testing, and that we do in the Female Hormone Solution Program? <laughs> Absolutely, yes. So I'll be talking about that more in a minute, um, in a minute, but I wanted to um, just go through and talk about, you know, these things first. If you are not familiar, I am Dr. Beth Westy, women's health and hormone expert, um, author of the books here, um, The Female Fat Solution, where I do talk more about estrogen and progesterone in this one, and then The Female Menopause Solution, all about how to eat for your hormones and your cycle. Those are on Amazon, fantastic resources there. Um, but I want to talk about these things first because... Where did I just, oh, I lost my marker for a second. Um, because when we talk about improving progesterone, a lot of times people will throw out a food and say, this is good for hormones, like carrot salad, shredded carrot salad. I mean, yes, right? Yes, I'm not saying that's, that's not helpful. But if you're like, okay, I'm doing that, but I'm still having a problem, or what else should I look at? Like just eating a crap ton of carrots is going to do it for me? Maybe maybe right let's look at things overall about what we can do to improve so for foods foods there's a few things that I do like to talk about with foods um, and I cover this in my book I also have a ton of videos on my YouTube channel which is just Dr. Beth Westy um, that you can subscribe to where I talk about the warming component to foods warming foods uh, beef, bacon, uh, cooked fruits and vegetables, spices, cinnamon, ginger, nutmeg, um, and uh, any type of spicy food, peppers, right? All those things are very warming. That's going to help work with the warming aspect of progesterone overall. This is the thing when I talk about eating for your hormones and cycle, eating for progesterone. That warming aspect, which that was what I rattled off right there. That was just a quick snippet, but I have a lot more on YouTube. So if you're like, yeah, I want to do more of that, do it. Yes. <laughs> so there's that for foods, but also, but wait, there's more. Oh, I didn't space this out nicely. Okay, I'm going to have to erase this. Sorry. Um, the, the other things to look at besides warming foods, you're also going to want foods that are um, high in omegas. Oh, you know, fish, salmon, um, flaxseed, yes, really high in omegas. Um, those are going to be really helpful. Foods that are high in vitamin B or and vitamin C. These vitamins overall, they don't hang out in your system. They're water-soluble vitamins. So it's really important that you're getting enough of these vitamins on a regular basis. Minerals as well, copper, zinc, magnesium very important for overall progesterone maintenance, right? To keep your levels there. So those are some really important foods that you can focus on. Food groups, food groups. And if you're like, well, what do I eat that? I mean, vitamin C, strawberries, citrus fruit, yes, right? Uh, vitamin Bs, leafy greens, eggs, fish, meat. Yeah, those are just some basics, right? But you can also, you know, right? Yes. Okay. I think sometimes this is really helpful to give you some target things. Make sure you're eating things every day that have omegas. That doesn't mean you have to eat fish every day. It means, oh, you know, get some flaxseed in. Get some hemp seed in, right? Get some leafy greens in every day. Get strawberries or citrus or something. Put it in your smoothie. Yes. Awesome. There you go. Okay. So that's the food component of what we're talking about. The second thing here... That I want to talk about ways to improve. This is not necessarily because we all look for something to add, right? We're all looking for what do I do? What do I do? What can I do? This is what you can do less of. <laughs> and it's decrease stress. Decrease. You're like, are you kidding me? Decrease stress. That's what you got for me. Listen, if you really understood 
how important it is to decrease stress and the overall impact that it will have on your body's ability to produce progesterone, huge impact. If your system is raging out on cortisol, you're not going to be able to produce and maintain the right amount of progesterone. You just can't. Your system just can't do it. No matter how hard you try, no matter how much you want to. So that's a really big thing there. Decreasing stress overall, which I have done a ton of videos on getting your system to release stress um, on a regular, on a regular basis, like on a daily basis, you will need to make sure that before you go to bed, you do not feel stressed. That's very important. Okay. And then three, this one I'm very excited about. Progesterone balance. If you're like, what is that? What does that do? This is the tincture that I created and formulated for the female body. Progesterone balance. There are herbs in this Vitex, um, red raspberry leaf, Damiana, ginger, oregano, um, vervain, uh, myrrh, <laughs> Myrrh. I just love saying that. Um, and cayenne. So it's a little spicy. It's a little spicy. It's got that warming kick to it. What's so important about these herbs in here? These herbs are specifically designed to help your body create and maintain the correct amount of progesterone for you. There is no other tincture or supplement out there like this. I specifically made it, and it comes in a bundle to work with your estrogen, right? To the estro balance and the progesterone balance. But depending on what your, you know, um, Dutch test says, there are some times where I will say, you know what, you need to do like a half a serving of the estrogen and two servings of this a day. Let's get this going. Let's get this progesterone cranking. And this can really, really help level things out for you when you're using the days, you know, 15 through 28 of your cycle. There are some women who are like, I don't have an active cycle, then we just do a regular swapping back and forth. And this helps your system deal with um, hot flashes or any other symptoms that you can have in menopause as well. So that's kind of fun. If you're like, yes, I want to know more about that. Again, that is on my website, um, nutritionforhormones.com. Um, but if you're like, yes, how do I get my hormones tested? I want the Dutch test. I want to, let's do this in the female hormone solution program. In the comments, there is the link for you to get on the wait list. Our wait list opens next week. No, next month, I mean, I'm sorry, next month. But next week, next week, I have a free masterclass. I'm doing a free masterclass where I'm going to be talking about all these issues with women and hormones and everything else. And I will do a Q&A at the end of that as well. So if you are on the wait list, you will get notified for that free masterclass, which is just done on Zoom. So I'm really excited about that. Um, all right. So that's what I got for you guys today. Top things to help improve progesterone, these main three things, focus on that and you're going to see an amazing shift and change happen. All right. Um, if you are also not subscribed to my YouTube channel or my podcast, my YouTube is Dr. Beth Westy and then my podcast is the Female Health Solu Solution. If you are looking for other resources, other places to get information. So that's what I got for you guys tonight. Have a great rest of your night and I will see you later.